Hello friends and welcome to this discussion. I hope that you are all doing well. Today I will discuss about how you can move into the USA without a job offer or a sponsorship. This is because uh, most of the opportunities available for people to immigrate into the USA require someone to have a sponsorship or a job offer. The sponsorship is usually required from a sponsor who is a person, uh, a U.S. citizen, and must be with a certain level of income. So not just anyone can be a, your sponsor. They have to be U.S. citizen and with some a certain level of income. And for a job offer, the employer then becomes your sponsor. So what if you do not know anyone in the U.S.? and you'd like to uh, migrate to move into the USA for permanent resident uh, status. This is how you can do that. The other opportunity is through getting married to a US citizen so that you can qualify for a visa under the uh, marriage-based uh, visas. So if you do not want to do any of these, then this is the one that you can uh, go for. And this is because many of the people who qualify to move into the USA actually do not do that because of the visa requirements. Therefore, if you do not have a job offer or a sponsor in the US or uh, getting married to a US citizen, then you can use a EB1A visa. This is a visa uh, that is an employment-based green card and it is available to foreign nationals who demonstrate extraordinary abilities in fields like sciences, the arts, education, business, or athletics. Therefore, if you have exceptional skills in these areas, you then qualify for this uh, EB1A visa. What you need to do is to show that you really have these exceptional abilities. You really need to prove that you have these exceptional abilities. And how can you do that? You have to provide ev evidence of your extraordinary abilities. You have to provide a proof of your extraordinary abilities. It could be awards. For example, the awards you've won, you can present them. Like, for example, uh, the presidential awards. Like in Kenya, we have the presidential awards. If you've maybe gotten one for the, maybe you've been recognized and awarded, maybe Order of the Burning Spear, or many other awards that you've gotten, you can use that. Maybe you've participated in uh, different uh, levels of games. So through athletics, you can also qualify. Maybe you've, invent you've invented something. Uh, you have invented something or maybe you've created something, an art that has been uh, uh, put in the maybe archives for exhibition in your country. Such things you can use them to as a proof or evidence of your extraordinary abilities. The advantages of this EB1A visa is that one, uh, unlike the EB2 and EB3 categories, this EB1 immigrant visa is current, which means that it is faster to obtain a green card in this category in the USA. So it is faster to get. Two, there is no need to go through the lengthy labor certification process you for, for working. So there is no need to go through that. And number three, individuals can self-petition and a job offer is not required in this category. So you're not required to have a job so that the employer petitions for you. You can do this yourself. But there is one condition with this visa, and this condition is that you have to continue in the line 
that you qualified for this visa in let's say you you qualified through exceptional abilities in athletics you cannot get to the usa and decide now to be a scientist you have to stick to the line of work that you qualified for for this visa through how do you apply for for it it is easy anyone can do it you just need to fill the form i140 which has very easy questions that anyone can uh, answer them easily you do not need a lawyer you do not need extra skills to fill this form and how much is uh, what is the cost for processing this you need 700 dollars for a normal processing but if you want premium uh, processing it gets to even up to 2350 or 2300 uh, 500 to 2500 so for premium processing it's between 2350 dollars to $2,500 and there's no need for that you can work with the normal processing therefore this is an opportunity that many need to exp- explore especially from the African uh, countries on top of the uh, DV the green card DV lottery so they can also uh, check on this one Unfortunately, this one is uh, one of the high or the leading uh, opportunity in brain draining the developing countries because these skilled individuals when they move to the US and go there for better opportunities, then they leave their home countries most uh, of them which are developing and it is not a uh, a very good thing but we all need to these opportunities therefore if you qualify for them and you decide to go for them then take this opportunity friends that's all for this discussion i hope you found this information useful if you did please consider subscribing like and share let's grow together and if you have a comment arising from this discussion you can put it in the comment uh, section and i'll be able to answer you directly or through uh, another discussion i hope to see you all in the next ones bye